Hi everyone! So today we're going to learn about indices and logs. Have you ever wondered why do we have to learn indices and what are the applications in real life? Well, that's lots of things that we can apply it, such as counting large numbers, counting things that grow very quickly. For example, number of bacteria like coronavirus. Number of bacteria in a single sneeze is between 10 to the power 4 and 10 to the power 5. Wow, that's a big number. Other than that, let's say we have, if we have one person and he has four children and these children, each of them has four children and so on, then we are going to have population growth. So we can write in a form of indices like this. Other than that, we have exponents in computers, a compound interest, and many more. Alright, let's look at the first example. If we have 4 and 8, we can change to the same base. So what we're going to do? We are going to change to the base 2. Alright, if we have 2 on the left side and 2 on the right side, we are going to compare the power. Okay, then we expand this one, we multiply it and solve to get the value of x. Alright, the next one, if we have like this, we cannot change to the same base. So what we're going to do, we are going to log on both sides. So we can bring the power to the front. Then, we expand it, right? And then, we are going to combine x with x. Now, we're going to solve it to get the value of x. Alright, that's it. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Today... We are R going to learn about indices and log. Wow! Wow!